Good morning from the Bangkok Rail Station. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to Ayutthaya from the Bangkok Rail Station, Central Bangkok, to our train ride. Uh, we were thinking as we can take an express second class air conditioned train. However, this train is not going anymore, so we took the ordinary train, third class coach, fun, no aircon, but only 15 bahts. This is like a 45 cents train is going to ours, so it's gonna be very exciting trip in general. And let's see what Ayutthaya have to offer and how the journey is going for the in the train like this one. Last time I was on the train uh, in Vietnam. However, this station, this train station is beautiful, I'm gonna tell you. And it reminds me a little bit of my home country in Poland because the train station in my hometown is very similar to this one. So it's cool. I like it. So this is over 100 years old train stations opened in 1916. It's actually cool. I'm gonna tell you somehow this old trade station have a little bit of the soul as you can see the architecture and everything. It's very quiet, I would say. This is a little bit of the history here, how the first trains were looking like and everything. Most of the shops here are closed and the train station at 10.30 at morning looks quiet, but that's cool actually, we're gonna go soon. By the way, our, uh, for uh, both of us, 30 bucks going to Ayutthaya and come back 60 bucks, but we pay 50 bucks for one cup of coffee in Cafe Amazon over here. So that's, that's how it looks the life in Bangkok right now. By the way, very easy to buy tickets. There is the counter and there is the information board. We're taking train 209 at 11.15, platform 7. We go out from the station because we still have uh, 45 minutes. Winnie is looking to buy some bread and some coke because the journey will be two hours and no aircon. So definitely you need to, I don't know if they're selling the food there. And I will show you a little bit outside of the, outside of the building in general. We came here by Hua Lampong MRT station, that's the easiest way to come from the city center. Let's say you want to start in Asok Sukhumvit and you go down on the 6th station to Hua Lampong and this is the train station. And outside is like just regular Bangkok life, 10.30 uh, at morning and that's the station from the outside. Many tuk-tuks, uh, transportation options, taxis uh, and inside you're just getting inside this hall there are some shops and the main hall of this train station is just over there, very easy to navigate, over there. This is inside the train station, the first actually perrons where the train starting, this is the trains we're gonna go like this one, like in my hometown, literally I was going to school in the trains like this for a few years and some people even waiting right now, so we're waiting for our train from the uh, number seven, platform number seven. Actually, so many people waiting, and as I mentioned, actually, surprised they really washing the trains inside. Check this out. And here we go. I think this is our train, platform number seven. And yeah, that's the, our train. I think so. It's pretty short though, <laughs> but I hope so. We're gonna have enough seats. We are inside the train, so looks like a third class. Like I said, exactly what I was going to school every day for three years in Poland, long time ago. Just this one is diesel, which is more cool. Mine was electric in Poland, and that's the looks outside a little bit of the you know local area. We stuck uh, well, just 10 minutes drive, and we stopped for some reason. But looks like this one uh, will be interesting journey for sure. Luckily nobody sitting at the front of us and it's pretty spacious actually. This is only 45 cents rides for two hours by the way. You can put the luggage over there if you want. There is little fun to cool you down. But the good thing is that you can open the window. That's the most important thing. to the Ayutthaya train station looking to rent the bike it's still very hot but we're gonna explore this city today it's very beautiful by the way it's just very hot still one o'clock so we're taking our bike if you return before 6 p.m. it's 200 baht 24 hours 300 baht this is this one the guys here renting it and that's the bikes what we're gonna have it's like a scoopy but I don't know what the name is here but like a small motorbikes you can have a helmet also so it's always all is decent here look like okay and one thing I left my ID card here oh you have to leave the ID okay yeah. for deposit yeah. 
All right, guys, it's super hot. That's why we're having an umbrella over here. As you can see, I'm melting already. So this is the ancient uh, park here, actually, which is the Ayutthaya uh, city. It's the most popular for the uh, ancient city, actually. So it's a lot of uh, temples and the old temples and the historical buildings everywhere around. Also, interesting fact is that was the capital city of Siam, which is current Thailand, long time ago, back to 1351, actually. So, okay, let's explore it a bit before I get melted here. <laughs> Lucky actually, always remember, bring your hat and the umbrellas. It's very helpful actually. All right, the ticket price is actually 50 baht if you are a foreigner and 10 baht if you are Thai. Okay, so, let's, let's get inside. <laughs> looks already beautiful from outside. And when you enter this beautiful place, it looks like this one is the, well, ancient city. So many beautiful temples here around. And as classical things, drones are not allowed anymore anywhere. In Asia, it's actually very hard with this one, but don't worry, we have a nice camera. We're gonna make a beautiful video of these places. And well, that's the ruins actually already over here. You cannot climb this either. Uh, it's not so that extremely busy as I was expecting coming to the places like this one. Usually, usually it's actually very busy in the places like this one, but this one is like, you know, some people coming in during the time, but not so crowded. And well, kind of beautiful place, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Let's get inside the ruins a little bit. Uh, we cannot climb, so remember that. But uh, walking around, there is no problem like this one and that's the old walls here that's actually cool you cannot climb but you can come closer that's no problem just remember don't climb and that's how does it look like very cool so just a few facts about the temperature right now in Ayutthaya especially when we arrived two three weeks ago to Bangkok was pretty chill weather like 25 26 28 degrees which was actually beautiful now here I just checked the temperature is 34 official and it feels like 41 so you can imagine it's actually very hot but definitely worth it to have a look what's going on around it's actually a beautiful place uh, but they are like a ruin so mm, let me know if you're interested it's about stuff like this one but definitely these are a few minutes on my shots to show you around and it's actually a huge place what's prasri sanpet this temple is graced by the landmark three bell-shaped main stupa standing side by side in line later additional structures were erected between the stupas, which is believed to be a mondop square edifice with a pyramidal roof, judged by the square outline of the bare basement and the only ruins left today. A square floor plan is identified specifically with all mondops. Prasri Sanpet, situated inside the palace boundary, fronts onto the royal palace complex, which lies to the north of the temple. Sometime after its establishment in mid 21st century, by reason of its court connected statues, other structures were added continually on carefully executed plans. Buddhist temple uh, close by the Wat Pram Simpet. Let's see how it is inside.
right guys situation looks like this one i feel hot my camera feel hot microphones feel hot everything feel hot so we gave up already the motorbike what we ran i will show you later on everywhere where to run and everything but uh, this is the map where we were today i will show you like this one so we were basically here in this complex of temple there's actually so many temples and we showed you basically two or three maybe we had a little bit stroll also on the motorbike around but there is also another one here and another one here and also on the other side this is like all town is like an island you know connected with so many bridges and there is the river around so guys if you're interested about the video like this one little bit of the culture of thailand and everything architecture let me know we can easily come back here our train is at 6 uh, 6.45 or something like that 15 baht so it's very easy but i'm not sure only if you're interested to watching stuff like this one because thailand has so many to offer so let me know in the comment section i will really appreciate that now waiting for a lunch i will have a pad thai and then i I'm gonna show you a little bit of the hood around. So this is the little restaurant where we're having a drink and lunch. As you can see, very local, having some pad ties here and some we're gonna have a fried rice. Next to it is the rental company where we rent our bike for 200 baht, uh, just like this one. Uh, we cut actually this one, 200 baht. So it's just uh, next to the bar and the bar and the rental is just literally opposite the Ayutthaya train station. I'm gonna show you around. You just have to come from this building, cross the street and everything is here. So very convenient and uh, now it's already like uh, five something so it's more food options I'm gonna show you around also they have a different kind of uh, tuk-tuks here I'm gonna show you this is uh, totally different than in Bangkok it's like a 90 kilometers from the Bangkok they're having a food and the tuk-tuks looks like this one totally different like this car and this <laughs> totally different I could say uh, but it's cool you saw whenever you go to Thailand uh, and you go to extra different city there will be different kind of the tuk-tuks most likely the most popular one are in the bangkok obviously but you go to different town like this one there is different one a little bit different atmosphere here is actually very cozy not so many people and traffic it that busy like in bangkok and that's how does it look inside the ayutthaya train station very small old school train station with all the timetables still on the board like a very old school which is some, somehow brings my memories when i was going to the school using the stuff like this one uh, like this one nice mosaic on the floor wooden benches counter office and the trains are over there and this is the station itself already uh, people waiting for the trains we have to wait for about two hours looks like this one probably we're gonna have a train like this one going back to bangkok the same 15 baht so it's actually very very cool cool vibe and the, uh, the sound of the train they're running quickly definitely worth the try to come to this city to explore train is just moving this is exactly the wagons uh, like I was going to the school. It looks literally like this one, just more clean because in Poland we have a trains full of graffitis or at least the old ones. I don't know, I didn't been seven years in my country, but previously it was like that. Very nice, they are moving. So I'm gonna tell you guys, highly recommend it for everyone who are in Bangkok to come to Ayutthaya for the day trip. If you can, it's very affordable and even if you are not interested to explore the temples in the heat like we did, uh, that was actually harder to make this video than it looks like on the screen. On the screen it's very easy to watch, but it was actually extremely hot. You can come just for the experience of the train. Of course, you can take a taxi if you want. It's the easiest way and the quickest and the easiest and the most expensive at the same time. But this one is definitely great experience. Meanwhile, Winnie is already waiting for me in the restaurant. I would like to say thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow on next one from Thailand.